If you are engaging in organic vegetable cultivation, I believe that you are always looking for natural solutions and ways to improve the growth of your plants. There are many supplements that are not harmful and that can encourage plants to grow better and bear fruit better. Yeast is an excellent supplement for fruit-bearing plants and flowers. It is an excellent assistant in the nutrition of plants because it stimulates their growth. Yeast comes in various forms. You can find fresh yeast in cubes or dry yeast in granules. It has many nutrients such as B-group vitamins, beta-glucan, plant hormones and minerals, potassium and magnesium. On our channel, we try to give advice that will help you in the ecological cultivation of plants. Look for various video tips on growing fruits and vegetables. So, if you like it, subscribe to our channel. Only 100 grams of yeast contains potassium, sodium, protein, calcium, magnesium, vitamin B6, iron, vitamin C, vitamin B12, plant hormones such as auxin. Plant or phytohormones are chemical substances that in plants cause cell division, increase in cell mass, cell differentiation, morphogenesis. These are natural substances typically found in various plants and microorganisms, as well as in yeast. Plant hormones auxins have been found in yeast. Auxins are used for propagation of fruit trees, ornamental plants, trees, flowers and cuttings, for stimulation of fruit growth in tomatoes, cucumbers and apples, for weed control and to prevent falling of prematurely ripened fruits. Yeast can be found in various forms. Yeast cake, dry instant active yeast, granulated and liquid yeast for bakery purposes. In the plant, yeast causes release of heat and heating of the plant soil, the activity of microorganisms present in the soil, increased content of micro and macro elements. Fluctuation in temperature, frequent rainfall to high temperatures are not good for the plants and cause problems for vegetable gardeners. In order to fight against various diseases, the most important thing is to feed them well and raise their immunity. Now we're going to show you the preparation procedure for this mixture. You should mix 50 grams of fresh yeast and 3 to 4 tablespoons of sugar in 1 liter of warm water or warm milk. Make sure that the water or milk are not too hot, as it will destroy the fungi. Next, you have to leave the mixture to swell about 2 hours. After that, add this mixture to 50 liters of water, mix it really well, and then it is ready to use. If you have only dry yeast, then you should do it this way. Use one bag of dry yeast, that is usually 8 grams, and a few tablespoons of sugar in 1 liter of warm water. You should always leave that mixture to swell for a while so it dissolves in a good way and then add it into 50 liters of water. During spring and summer, use this fertilizer every 15 days on all of your plants. During autumn and winter, in your greenhouse or with indoor flowers, you can use it every month. The thing that you should remember with this kind of fertilizing, that the soil watered with this solution loses a significant amount of calcium and potassium, so add these minerals to the soil from time to time. You can do that by adding wood ash, and you have a special video about that procedure on our channel. What is also good to say that you should always make a fresh amount of this fertilizer each time you want to use it. 
Yeast is an excellent helper in the nutrition of plants because it stimulates their growth. Nutrition of plants with yeast is effective in all stages of their development, although it is best to apply it when planting because it strengthens the root system. Also, it will accelerate the flowering and ripening of the fruits, so it is often used when growing tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, zucchini and other fruitful plants, as well as your flowers. Yeast contains many minerals, nitrogen and phosphorus, but also enzymes that activate the action of good bacteria in your soil. Fertilizer that is prepared in this way, you can always use on all of your vegetables, but also you can use it in fertilizing all of your flowers. The sugar that is in question here is table sugar, of course. One molecule of sucrose is made up of one unit of fructose and one of glucose. Both of these types of sugar can be used by the yeast, as well as by the plants, for natural supplementation. By adding sucrose to the water and yeast solution, the activation and reproduction of yeast biomass is stimulated. The nutrients that yeast does not use will be used later by your plants. As I already said, this natural supplement with yeast is very good for your plants and flowers. To prepare a nutrition solution with yeast, you need 10 grams of fresh yeast, 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 liter of warm water. Since a smaller amount of yeast is used in this case, this solution does not need to be diluted. The preparing process is almost the same as the first one. Dissolve the yeast in water and stir it. Then add sugar and let it stand for 1 to 2 hours. With this mixture, you can water the flowers twice a month in winter and three times a month in the summer. The solution prepared in this way will serve you as an excellent natural fertilizer for balcony flowers as well as for indoor flowers. Yeast for watering vegetables is a good source of natural plant hormones that will stimulate the growth of even the most demanding plants and their fruits. Yeast used in this way to water your plants with its intense smell can be effective against snails in the vegetable garden. The lack of nutrients in the soil is reflected in changes in the plants themselves. If the plant grows slowly, won't flower, has changes on the leaves, weak root development. These are all indicators that something is missing and that better care is necessary. The way to fix things is to give extra food from time to time. When it comes to flowers, natural or artificial liquid fertilizer is usually given. We can make natural fertilizers ourselves. For example, you can make nettle liquid fertilizer that we have already talked about and the recipe for its preparation is of course already on our channel. And be sure to try these yeast fertilizers because the experiences are very positive. Of course, everyone wants to have healthy and beautiful plants and this is exactly what yeast achieves. We get faster growth, better flowering, more beautiful leaves and stronger roots. Yeast contains ingredients that have a good effect on the growth and development of plants. Depending on how much solution you need to water the plants, you will proportionally make a sufficient amount. This is a natural way and very effective way of feeding plants, which is also economical. Just one bag of dry yeast or one cube of fresh yeast is enough for a solution of 50 liters of water, which is quite enough to water an optimal amount of plants. If you found this video useful, leave a like and share it on your social networks so the others can benefit from our tips. 
leave us a comment if you have any questions or you just want to say hi and tell us where you're following us from. And don't forget to subscribe.